Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com and welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tour. So it's a beautiful day out here in Red Bay, Alabama. I am at the Sunshine Homes factory where they have been building this brand new line of homes which is called the Arc Series, which is intended to be an affordable option for all consumers. This in front of us is the Arc 3270-9002. This home is a four bed, two bath sitting at 1980 square feet and the base price of something like this this one goes for hundred and forty eight thousand dollars let's go take a home tour where's will I'm excited you're here everybody and I am excited for this home. The new ARC series from Sunshine Homes is remarkable. It's an affordable option but Sunshine known for their craftsmanship and quality has taken that knowledge and put it right into this home. Just look around what we got already walking in. This is what you want out of a manufactured home. We've got 9 foot ceilings, a 21 foot by 15 feet living room with an great amount of room and space for you and your family. I mean, just look around for a moment. Wow. Now remember, if you want to know more about this home, there's a link in the description below. That'll take you directly to the floor plan where you can learn more about it. Take a look at some photos, 3D tours, some videos, and get pricing directly from a retailer near you. But let's just take a look at this entertainment center. This wood panel is beautiful. I love the design. I love the style. I like that mantle and that electric fireplace. That's what a 15,000 BTU that will definitely heat this living room. Gosh, that is just spacious. What do you guys think about it? Let me know what you think about the living room and how this looks in the comments below. This dining room offset to the kitchen. I love it. It's not right up in your face. It's not halfway in the living room too. It's a nice designated space with big windows letting that natural light in. Cam lights everywhere gives you a good amount of light along with those with that natural light. Soak it in. Look at that guys. That is remarkable. I'm loving the wood trim around the home. I love this wood grain. Even on the countertops, everything is very complimentary. And remember, looking at that dishwasher, these homes come standard with Beko appliances. I love the shelves above the uh, sink and by the window. It is a nice accent piece. You can use it as decorative or you can use it, you know, um, practically. It's a beautiful farmhouse sink right there. And then let's take a look at this island. Plenty of room, plenty of storage. It is a great size right there. Again, goes along with the motif of the wood grain. Big drawers, soft clothes. Let's take a little peek at the amount of uh, storage and space that you have around here. Now, one thing I wanted to point out is these cabinets are built here and they are built right. That is not chipboard back there. These are built right. Same thing over here. Beautiful cabinetry, drawers, soft clothes, good stuff. This home has a great little pantry with wood shelves. Nice. Plenty of space for everything you need. And like I was saying a minute ago, these homes come with Beko appliances standard. Let's take a look at inside this French door refrigerator that just comes with this home. I mean, look at that. That is remarkable. They are not taking away any quality in this manufactured home. This is supposed to be affordable, remember, and it is. But look at that quality. 
And I mean that stove and oven combo, <laughs> that is nice. And I'm loving the range hood in this home. I mean, just take a look at the color coordination right there. Your oven stove just pops. I would love to cook on that. But my home has gas, so maybe next time. Again, right beside, we have plenty of room and storage for everything you need. Remarkable. Personally, I wouldn't mind walking through this house every day. I mean, it is a good looking home so far. So let's take a walk down this long hallway. But in the meantime, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. That always helps out our channel and lets me know that I'm doing something right. Now let's walk into this first guest room right here. This one is 13 feet by about 14 feet. And this room actually has an option to be turned into a den. Now the only difference there is basically you would lose the closet in this room and the next bedroom would get more of that closet. So that is an option for you. But right now this closet, again, Wood shelvings, nice hanger pole there, whatever that's called. Really nice and spacious bedroom. Now let's go into the second guest room. Now, this room is quite comparable. This is a 14 foot by 13 foot room. Nice, good amount of room. closet in this room is pretty much just like the other one, um, about the exact same size, but again, wood shelving. That was a nice room. Now in a second, let's go take a look at the third guest room to finish this trifecta. Now this room is a 13 foot by about 13 feet. This one's with the smallest room in the house, but nowhere near as small as some other rooms I've seen in other homes. But this one, this one's nice. This would be great for your little one. You could even turn it into an office. Really good size room. Great guest area over here, everyone. And let's take a look at the guest bath. Opening this door, what do we got? We got two vanities right there, a good amount of storage. I'm loving the mirrors and the frame around the mirror. It just goes along with the look of the home. Loving it. All right, and now you shut this door, what do you got? You've got your elongated toilets right there with a shower tub combo made of fiberglass. Pretty darn nice. Now this bathroom is connected to the mudroom, laundry room area, which is rather convenient if you're kind of coming through, but maybe not so convenient if somebody's in there, right? But we have uh, normal washer dryer hookups. Your air conditioning unit is right there. And then spin it around and we're gonna take a look at door number one is a 
cloak closet, it seems. Just a closet in general. And right there is your hot water heater access. The laundry room is also just off of your dining room. We know, I know, that I'm traveling all over the U.S. capturing these home tours, and if you want to be a part of that, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell. So then that way you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted, and you'll be able to catch up to exactly where's Will. And let me tell you, we got some exciting stuff coming around the corner the first of the year. But now we're walking into the primary suite and this room right here is a 16 foot by 15 foot room with plenty of space for you. Now let's take a look at the primary restroom here. We're gonna walk right on in right to a standalone soaker tub. That is remarkable. Now again, let me remind everybody, this is an affordable, manufactured home, sitting at just about base price, $148,000. And so far, so good. Look at everything that we have been, that you're gonna, that we're gonna get when you buy this home. I mean, we have this shower right here. This is a hand tiled shower with a pebble flooring. I don't know exactly what's that called. And we have two shower heads, one rain shower head, one regular one. That is, I want it. I want it. We have our toilets there, right on into our double vanities for the primary suite here. Plenty of storage again, just taking a look at it, seeing what you get. Now, I don't know if anybody had a chance to notice, but all the registers are on the floor in this home, so your air conditioning and heat will be coming from below. And now we're in the primary walk-in closet, and wow. We've got wood shelves. We have shelving right in the middle. Um, plenty of room for your shoes and all of your things. Rather remarkable, I'm loving it so far. I mean, look at this primary suite. Hmm. Beautiful home, beautiful, affordable home, everybody. I wanna know what you thought about it. Let me know in those comments below. But right now, let's take a last look at this home right before I leave Red Bay, Alabama on to the next spot. So, I hope to see you wherever I'm headed to next. And if you haven't had a chance, remember to hit that subscribe button and make a comment. And if you want more information about this home, click the link in the description below. But until next time I see you, you have a wonderful day. Live smarter, choose manufactured, and travel easy.